Hey everyone, Itay Manero here, and in this video, I'm going to reveal what my art challenge and Procreate freebies for the month of July are going to be about. So let's jump right into it. But first I want to say thank you to everyone who participated on last month's challenge. I had a blast seeing all your awesome submissions and the incredible and healthy sense of community you guys keep promoting by liking, sharing and commenting on other artists' submissions. You can search by the hashtag Manero Challenge on Instagram and Twitter, but mostly on Instagram, to check all the incredible artworks and give their creators some love. If you don't know what my challenge of the month is, basically I provide you with a free and exclusive Procreate brush every month, a color palette, and an art prompt. The challenge is to draw or paint something based on the prompt, using only the brush and the color palette provided. To join the fun, you can post your art on social media using the hashtags Manero Brushes and Manero Challenge and feel free to include this image in your post. I will be sharing your awesome creations with my audience. You can find the link to download these freebies in the description below. The prompt for July is an ice cream character. Summer has just started and we all love to have a good ice cream from time to time. So I thought, what a better way to start this summer than with an ice cream related art challenge. I'm starting my take on the challenge with a messy sketch. My focus is on exploring the idea for my character. I decided to go for a classic ice cream on a cookie cone. I thought it would be fun to have the ice cream part be the hair and the cone to be the body with the facial features in it. I really like this brush for sketching. It gives a nice loose feel that helps with design exploration. I also felt like using it with the eraser tool to refine some parts of my sketch. I liked the idea of adding sunglasses and also one of those cookie rolls sticked in the ice cream. Once I was happy with my sketch, I lowered the opacity of the layer and I started to ink the final lines on a new layer on top. I'm using the brush now in a more careful way to define my lines with clearer and bolder decisions. I'm making sure to play with pressure so that my line work feels organic and natural. This way I can make thicker or thinner lines just by controlling my pressure with the Apple Pencil. For the glasses, I decided to use quick shape for the exterior lines and freehand lines for the interior details. I've also added black shadows below the glasses to add a bit more depth to my drawing. Here I'm detailing the legs and the arms. I'm also adding the details in the cone using a small size of the brush. I've noticed that the legs felt a little too small in proportion with the rest of the character, so I've used the selection and transform tools to fix it. I also retouched a little bit the line work to repair the fuzziness that results from enlarging the drawing. If that also happens to you, and you're wondering why that happens, it is totally normal. You need to have in mind that Procreate is a raster app that works with pixel information, so any transformation, especially making something bigger, will result in fuzziness or pixelation. The only way around is to redraw the affected parts. I added a few background elements to complete my design. Now I'm using the selection tool to color fill the whole character and separate it from the background behind. And using alpha lock in the color layer will allow me to paint my character without painting outside. First of all, I'm coloring the different parts of the character, like the ice cream on top, 
the body, the shoes, the gloves, and so on. Then with each part separated on different layers, and with alpha lock on each one of them, I'm using this month's brush to paint shadows and highlights. For this month's color palette, I wanted to have something that would personally remind me of summer. I think the colors I chose remind me to some old ice cream ads from my childhood in the 90s. I tried to experiment with them and see how they were working with my illustration until I found a way to combine them that I liked. As a final detail, I decided to add some colorful sprinkles on the ice cream. And this is the final result. I really hope you liked this video and that you decide to join the fun. I can't wait to see what you guys will create this month. Of course, if you have any questions after watching this video, feel free to ask in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more art related videos and give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out my Gumroad page, where you will find the challenge of the month freebies and many other brush sets for Procreate that I have available. I'm sure something will suit your artistic needs. All the links are in the description below. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.